Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the West Hand Sportsplex, where tonight the Valley Maple Leafs welcome the first place in our division, Capstone Colts, with a record of 18 and 3. That's right, 3. They've only lost three times all year. So, you know, we're going to be in for a test tonight. Looks like Jaden Croft gets the start in net for the Leafs tonight, number 29. And we're underway here. Puck goes back in the Valley zone. Pellerine back on D now. That's a change for tonight. Richardson not in the lineup tonight, nor Nick Vitito. So Pellerine moved back on D. That's Bailey, or sorry, not Bailey. Carter Graves trying to get it out. It does come out. Fresh ice here. Let's see if it's got enough steam. The linesman says no. Waves it off. Bailey in on the four check. Players to watch for the Colts are leading scorers. Number 11, Tyler Puma. He's 13 and 13 on the year for 26 points. Second leading scorer is number 17, Braden Hooper Richard. He's got nine goals and 10 assists. So they've got some firepower. Then they've got three guys tied with 17 points. So scoring well distributed in their lineup and they've got the stingiest team in the league in terms of allowing goals. They've only given up 49 goals all year. That's a big separator. They don't score a ton. They score, you know, enough. They have 90 goals on the season, but there's teams in the league with a lot more than that, but they allow the least. So we'll see how the Leafs make out tonight against this high-powered team. There's a chance early on Croft. He's equal to the task. Curry Luck, big Curry Luck hammers it out, but does not get over the blue line. Sometimes you only have one chance to clear your zone. That might have been it. Puma, this is the Tyler Puma, number 11, the leading scorer I was speaking about. Welsh is back. There's a shot, just missed. That was Ryan Welsh from the point. Already big pressure here from Capstone Colts, Hemming Valley in on their own end. There's a tumbling exercise at the corner. Good bump there by Tolson. Curry Luck. Feathers it up too far though, once again, not out. Now he's got a second shot at it, he rambles out over the blue line, big curry luck. Gains the blue line, but he's all by himself. He leaves the puck there. Garson, number 10, Garson, I was trying to see who that was on the Colts. If you tuned in for our last home game, we had a bit of a snafu, I was away, and we did have a backup play-by-play -play person, but he turned out to had an eye grain and couldn't show up, so all we had was the video. Some of you may be saying, thank God, too bad we didn't have that again tonight, but I'm back. There's the Leafs bringing it out. Good rush here, that's Pellerine, who I mentioned earlier, look at him go. He tries a backhander. No dice. Face off to the left, it's kicked back. Valley maintain possession for a second. Matt Jessam brings it up. Oh, he's got a lead passing behind everybody. Nice defensive effort there just to bother Henman enough so he couldn't get a good shot on Croft. Croft did make the save, but the forward was bothered by a tap just at the right time. Stone gives it a Karate kick, kicks it into the valley end. Ooh, that looked dangerous there for Levy, but he didn't end up in the ambulance. Here's DeLooney over the blue line, dumps it in behind the net. That's Spink dumping it in. Colts come out with it though. Stephen Warwick, lucky 13. Assistant captain for Capstone. Culleton, Spink. No. I think headman's it to Deluni. Deluni's a hard working forward there for the alley. Looks like he might have a skate issue. He decided to go off. He tripped over seemingly nothing there. Here's Brady Stone bringing it out, number three for Capstone. Gains the blue line. Nice check there to rub him off the play. Oh, that's a bit of a lazy play there by Valley. That's Lawrence. Tipped it right to their point man, Ben King. 
Capstone doing a good job pressuring the Leafs, keeping the puck in their end. Still in. Welsh drops it in, fighting for it in the corner. Capstone comes away with it. Here's Valley. Valley flips it up. Here's a chance. This is Graves. He's been a great addition to the Leafs. Carter Graves. He, he's not afraid to skate. He's not afraid to stand up for himself either. He's a young, young player. We're hoping to have him for quite a few years. Always depends where these fellows go to university. If they don't pick Acadia, it's pretty difficult for them to stay with the Leafs. There's a bit of a risky play there in front of the Valley net. Bucks in the corner. Rock'em, sock'em, robots there. Nick, oh, Nick Oikel sends it out. Bailey cleared it and goes for a change. Here's Puma, that's Tyler Puma. There's two Pumas, number 11, number 12. They're both dangerous. There we go. Pumas, I think, will both figure on that goal. That's the first one for Capstone. 14-49 left to go in the first, and they're on the board. Nice pass to the trailer coming late. Croft unable to get over and protect, and it's in the net. Valley win the draw. Nichols. Nichols loses the puck, though. That's Liam Andrews pressuring Nichols. Valley trying to come out with it. Has his stick lifted, and then a weak backhand. Coughed up again. Here we go. Number 10 shooting. That's Cody Garson, and that one was in the glove of Croft. Valley make a change. So do the Colts. I think that's Joshua MacArthur in net for the Colts. He turned around there briefly, and I think I saw number 30. I didn't, wasn't sharp enough to get his number earlier, but I'm sure we'll see his back here another time. Hopefully when he's digging the puck out of the net. Just kidding. <laughs> 13 again, he's on it. This Warwick, he's assistant captain, well-earned. He's a hard worker. Here's Valley, Valley in their own end, D to D. This is Lawrence, Lawrence tries a long pass, and connects. That's Dow, he's tripped up there, an inadvertent trip. Here's another chance here for, that's Riley Henman, he tried to go for the far side, but it ended up in the trapper of Croft. So far, Colts have five shots, the Leafs have managed one. One puck has got by Croft to this point. It's 1-0 Colts with 13.47 left to go in the first period. Face-off will be to the blocker, the right side of Croft. And Colts win it cleanly. 17, that's Braden Hooper Richard trying a backhand. That didn't get through, but it's kept in. Shot there by Matt Jessam. The back into the corner. Will McCurlin, there's a bowling pin effect. Two capstone players go down. There's a poor pass there by Culleton. It was picked right, right to uh, the Colts. It's in the corner now in Valley's end. Valley have a chance to get it out. They do. Standing up well, though, the Colts to not give him any skating room. Back in is Vino. Getting a lot of glove work early is Croft. <coughs> Coach Riley sends over out the captain here to see what's can be done. That's Brady McLean took over when Andrew McCarron, the captain, was traded to member two. Member two are trying to make the playoffs. I haven't checked the schedule lately to see if they're going to succeed or not. They thought McCarron and would help them with that, and I'm sure he will. Into the zone for Capstone. That's Ben King circling behind the net, up along the boards, trying to get it out. Nickel stands up there, kept it in momentarily. Stone, number three on defense. Pass to the back and forth. Valley dump it in over the blue line. Nobody close to it, though. Stone says, I'll take it. And he brings it right up the board to Puma. That's Cooper Puma, number 12. Tyler's number 11. Curielak. 
Gives Cooper Puma a little how do you do in the back. Good one. There's a shot off a leg, coming late though. That's Cole Good. He's given the shoulder bump there. He's kept in though, that's a dangerous Puma. In the corners, back to him again, nice low shot. Doesn't get through, hit the skate. Justin Banks trying to clear it out. Valley are having trouble getting it by the D who are not afraid to stand up at the blue line. Pellerine trying to make gain there along the boards, didn't get far. Still not out. It's incredible how just manages to stay just inside the blue line. Curry Luck will have a go at it now for Valley. That won't work. That's going to be an icing call. They'll be right back in their own end. Next games for these teams. Uh, the Colts are right back in action tomorrow at home against the Brookfield Elks. And the Valley have a rare Sunday game, Super Bowl Sunday here at 12.30 against the visiting Liverpool Privateers who once again are hosting the Don Johnson Cup this year. Here's a good rush. And an equally good play there by Lawrence, riding him off into the corner. Here's McCarthy, Ben McCarthy, tried inside out. Oh, it was close. Oh, looks like McCarthy might be going to get the gate. I thought he hit him a little high there, and that's, yep, yeah, roughing's call. So Valley be shorthanded. Once again, at any level, it's hard to play in the box. That ends up costing you sooner or later. You have to keep your cool. It's a fine line between enthusiastic play and ending up in the sin bin. Garrison, number 10, will take the draw for the Colts. I keep wanting to say Cole Harbor Colts, which is how they come in the league. They now play out of Shearwater, sponsored by Capstone, so they're known as the Capstone Colts. There's a chance for Valley, shorthanded. Oh, and it was, had been on his forehand, that might have been in. That was Schofield, but he took the pass on his backhand and couldn't get it directed towards the net. Now he's gonna go off. But that was a good effort by he and Brady McLean, shorthanded. Here come the Colts. That was Hooper Richard bringing it in. Now he's got it again behind the net. He sends it back out to the point. Back to the other point, this is Welsh. Welsh will maybe look to give it back. Yes, he does. And back to Welsh again. Playing keep away with it. Here's that Marston again. There's a shot, looking for a tip. Almost had it. Garson again. Back to Welsh. Back to Garson. Shoots. That was a beautiful shot. Just a fraction from going right in the net. Just hit the iron and came out, but it was a beautiful shot. <coughs> Excuse me, Welsh bringing it over the blue line. Cooper Puma, oh, it's out, so they have to regroup. There's McPhee. McCray, pardon me. <laughs> McPhee. McCray, Vino. Vino gets it back. Oh, tries to hit Cooper Puma. He trips, goes up into the net. Out of play, 9.21 remaining in the first period. Valley down, but only by one. Now they've only mustered the one shot, so they're gonna have to work on their offense a little bit, but they are short-handed at the moment. They're doing a pretty good job on the PK. 25 seconds left in the power play with McCarthy in the box for Valley. Here comes the Colts once again. It's Andrews, 23 Andrews. Oh, nice play along the boards there to get control. Goalie for Colts beating his stick. That means it bends out of the sin bin. Valley back to full strength. Good job there on the power play, granted. Capstone hit that iron there, which easily could have been a goal, but it didn't go in. 
There's a good check there by Nichols. Working hard along the boards, trying to gain possession. A bit of a scrum. Working hard, that's Deloney. Bad pass there, picked off easily by Capstone. Nichols back in the corner doing battle behind the net with Vino. Time now to regroup. Gives it to Curry Luck in the corner. Curry Luck cross ice to Nichols. Nichols has to be careful here. He coughed it up, but it's out over the blue line. Oh, he went down. It looks like there's going to be a tripping penalty there, so the Valley will have a chance in the power play. Maybe they can get some pressure toward the capstone goalie, who's maybe looking for a hot chocolate to this point. Doesn't have too much work to do. Pretty good crowd tonight, considering the Leafs' record. Reasonable night for driving. It was pretty foggy up here just before supper, but roads are clear. You might notice if the camera pans down to the Valley Inn, we've got some glass issues here. We've got a piece of plywood up. We did check with the league before the game began. They said that's fine. It's not going to hurt anything. It's an odd size pane, so the glass won't be here to fix it till next week. We would have lost two home games, and with the regular season soon approaching, we never would have been able to make those up. So it's good that we were able to get them in. Schofield with a nice drive to the net there off the near boards. Stoned by the Colts goalie. There's Pellerine again, not afraid to rush in. Good job there, but oh, a blind pass by Dow. Good job by Croft to come out and clear it. Colts are pressuring though. This is Levy's going to try and gain the red line. He can't. He pivots. Look for somebody to give it to. He does. It's Curry Luck. Levy goes off. Curry Luck says, I'll take it out. Comes down the near side here with a good head of steam. Tries to go through the legs, but played nicely there by the Colts. It's back down the Valley Inn. Lawrence, number four, Ben Lawrence for Valley. Consistent performer for them. Assistant captain now, rewarded for his work ethic this year. Valley looked like they might be charged for an icing on this. That's never good. 22 seconds left in the power play. Valley, there's not a shot registered up there, but there was definitely a shot there by Schofield. He was in all alone on MacArthur. Hit him right in the bread basket. So. Valley win the draw. And they have possession. Bailey behind the net. Passes it up to McLean. Back in the corner. Ten seconds left is all there is in the power play so they're going to need to gain the line have a quality scoring chance that's Graves in the corner to Bailey Bailey tried to get it out on the back end unsuccessful <coughs> and Capstone come away with it that's Andrews Andrews speeding in after it not speeding enough icing is the call Lawrence flicks it out down towards the linesman. 5.53, fast moving first period. Seems like I say that every game, but my repertoire is limited. Let's see who's gonna take the draw here for Valley. Tolson, Ryder Tolson, number seven, is gonna try and win it on his backhand. He sorta of wins it, Valley controls it. Nice try, oh, nice hard shot there by Pellerine, but Never quite made it through. Pellerin stands right up though. Uh, no, soft, soft pass across the middle. Picked off. Now here's a one on five. Capstone follow up nicely though. They managed to control it. That was a nice, nice effort there with well, initially only one man in for them. That's high and tight near side. Missed the net by Goodwin. Another shot in, they're working the fire boards. Pivot there by Vino. Comes back to the point. Welsh, he's steady back there. Steady performer is number eight, Welsh. Now it's a scrum along the corner, but it comes back to 
Oh, there's a shot hit the back leg of somebody by Hooper Richard. One-handed pass back out to Hooper Richard. It comes back. Here comes another hard shot coming. Hard shot by Goodwin. Croft had a bead on it, but it hit something and went changed direction, and those ones are hard for a goalie at any level to, to stop. That was the ninth shot showing here on the screen for the Colts. And they're now on the board for two, 448 left to go. That hit, I don't know if that hit one of their players or hit one of the Valley players, but it, it did a big right turn Clyde and it's in the net. Here's the draw, Valley get it, Curry left, dumps it in. MacArthur out to stop it for the Colts, the goalie. But they don't clear. Initially, Valley trying to keep it in and get some pressure. Spink is out there with Culleton and McCarthy. Check that, DeLooney. I thought that was McCarthy. DeLooney, nice pass. Oh, well, that one deflected, but did not get to the net. Very luck given a shove there by the smaller Colt player, number three. <laughs> Curry Luck shoves him off like a gnat. And, oh, there's a hard hit into the boards. And I don't know if that's going to be a penalty or not. Colleton had somebody in a bit of a headlock, so probably both going to go by the looks of it. Nope, only Colleton. So that's not good. If you're a Valley fan here, just just under four minutes to go and back. Colts will be going back on the power play. No, it is offsetting. I was thinking it was odd that there wasn't somebody else and there, now there's two men in the box. One white and one blue. So we're playing five aside. <coughs> Excuse me. Dell tried to win the puck straight ahead, did, but couldn't catch up to it. Tried to hit an open wing there, but it's really open. Wasn't anybody there of either color. Good fanned on the pass. Valley cleared out once again to an open wing. Levy wasn't, didn't look like he was sure what to do there, so didn't do anything. Now trying to get it out. Oh, a solid hit there by Tyler Puma. He can do it all for the Colts here. Check and score. Look at that effort. There's Tyler. Croft. Croft making snow angels there, and he's lost his weapon by the looks of it. The defenseman gives him a stick. Now sometimes I think that's worse than playing without one. He must get it out so he can get his stick back. That's a delayed offside. He's got his stick back now. That was a lovely save. Puma was right in on him. Here's another chance for them. Lovely touch pass there to Henman, who was robbed by Croft. Croft's getting a workout, folks. Ten shots on him. There's a rocket shot into the glove of Croft. That was Jessam. He's got a good shot from the point, number two. Two minutes, 39 seconds left to go and stands at number one. I don't think anybody's hit the plywood yet. That's not worth anything extra, but just a note. There's a face off, they tie each other up. Valley come away with it. Coming with a good head of steam is Bailey. Bailey dumped it in behind the net, but there's Nichols has it. Nichols back in the corner. Back to Nichols. Tries to get one on. Oh, nice try for a tip there by the Captain McLean. Didn't quite, as Danny Gallivan would say, negotiate contact. Here's the Colts coming out. Tried to hit number nine going right up through the middle there. Brown, but couldn't connect with him. Valley keeping it in, some soft pressure. Well, they only had three shots so far in this period. It's going to be difficult unless they pick up the offense a little bit here to get back in the game. They're down two. <coughs> Big rush now. Goodwin 
Goodwin pivots and lost the puck. Oh, there's a good try there by Tolson, but if he'd have reached for that, he'd have had his clock clean. The other player was right there coming his way. Curry luck, nice soft back pass. Zoyko. Pellerine up the boards. Back to Curry Luck again. Well, you need to make a little more targeted effort here. They're just hammering the puck. It's not going to anybody in particular. Valley trying to be a little more physical in their own end. There's a hard shot once again. Croft looked like he's talking to, <laughs> talking to uh, Hooper Richard there in front. Probably telling him where the best pizza places are here in Windsor. There's several. We're under a minute to go here, folks, in the first period. Colts up 2 nothing. 50 seconds left to go in period one. As I mentioned earlier, Colts right back in action tomorrow at home against the Brookfield Elks. The Valley returned to action on a rare Sunday home game here at 12.30 pre-Super Bowl against the visiting Liverpool Privateers. Who you got in the Super Bowl, folks? Who you got this year? It's easy to pick Mahomes. Be a contrarian and go for the Eagles. Hard to say how good Mahomes' ankle is. Of course, they'd never tell you, but they're not the same team if he's not mobile. Action here at the end, 16 seconds. Still time for a score if Valley's not careful. There, <laughs> prophetic that was, and just a soft shot from the point, but another redirect. Player left alone in front of Croft, and he just was able to tip the puck, change the direction. And there you have it with 11.84 seconds left, and the Colts go up by three. That hurts always when you give up those goals right towards the end of the period. Still time for another shot. Oh man, Croft was left to his own devices there and he was equal to the task. A nice stretch leg save. Otherwise it would have been four nothing. They walked right around the Valley defenseman and made a nice move on Croft who managed to keep his pad tight to the ice and held it out. After one, 14 to three of the shots. Colts are up three nothing.
visiting Andy Ganesh, and the Blues trail the Bulldogs 4-2. The Brookfield Elks are visiting East Hants in a battle of wildlife there. The Elks versus the Penguins, that's knotted up at one. Here it's 3-0 in favor of the Colts as we Valley come onto the ice here for the start of the second period. I thought Valley might make a goaltending change there. Not that he's been playing bad, but just to spread out the work a little bit because there's another game on Sunday, but probably the plan is Croft will play tonight and Bilodeau will play on Sunday. Well, Valley only mustered three shots on MacArthur in that first period. They're going to have to try and step it up a little bit. Starting off with McCarthy centering Tolson and McLean up front. Lawrence and the newly installed Pellerine back on D to begin the period. Hooper Richard on the near wing, Will McCray at center. And I th think that's Vino on the far wing. Yes, it is. And this, whoops. There's a tumble on fresh ice there by Hooper Richards. Hooper Richard, pardon me. Valley in their own end. Lawrence has it. Gets the puck on his forehand. Lobs it onto the green. Pardon me. Lobs it into the. Oh no, there's. Unless he blends in there with the Axeman construction logo, he was. The linesman could spot him rather easily. He was way inside the blue line was McCarthy, so it's a face-off. Three and four on defense for the Colts. Stone and Ben King. He's back to King. He gets it up. Oh, oh there's a, a near hook there. Lawrence had to let go of his stick or he'd have been gone. Dumped in. Pellerine takes a look, fans on the backhand. So as a result, Hooper Richard has it. Well, he shoot it out. It's touched, touched there by Goodwin and went right into MacArthur who decided to hold onto it. We'll have a face off. Valley sends some fresh troops over the boards. Big Robbie Dowell out to take the draw. He's been a hard worker for Valley all year. We're really glad to have him. He's played a lot of high-level hockey. He's a busy man. Oh, the centering pass there by Graves. He went nowhere. There's a little bump. Curiock tried to line up his man. Missed him. There's Dow. Gets it ahead to Graves. Graves like a water bug out there. And he gets a good hard shot away from distance, though. MacArthur has no trouble, smothers it, and will have a face-off to his left, his trapper side. Colts make one change and bring out Matt Jessam. And off goes Welsh. Draw. Dowell trying to win it on his forehill. He run it to himself and then tipped it back. That was, I've never seen that before. That was quite a move. And there it's up into the head and the net hadn't have been there, we might have hit the Maple Leaf. Just underway here in the second. A lot of teams in their division and the other division, Sid Rowe battling now for a position for the playoffs. Unfortunately for the Leafs, with only four wins, they aren't gonna be in the playoff picture this year, but good young nucleus of players. The coaches are very upbeat. Players have good attitudes. Most of them will be back next year, except for, of course, the overagers. And I think we'll have room for a couple overagers, so we'll see what surfaces around the league. Have a pretty strong team next year. A great facility here. We're lucky to have it. And a good place to watch a game. Our sister organization, not affiliated with us, but we certainly support their efforts, is the Valley Wildcats Junior A team. They're going to be in the playoffs this year, and they always draw very well in Berwick. Rink set up similar to this one with seats on one side. Here we go. That's Banks, Justin Banks. 
Gets it out, passed up nicely to Oikel. Oikel takes a bump there by Cheney, who took a bump in return from Oikel. Oikel rings it around to Tolson. Tolson back, it's in her own end once again. Levy, Levy bringing it out carefully. Pass behind Tolson, he couldn't pick it up. Oh, right down Broadway. That's Garson. He's, a, he's always in the right place, Cody Garson. Cheney, a nice pass over, nice flat pass. There's a nice shot there. Rebound comes back out. Here it comes again. Oh, big wind up there, but he failed to make contact. That was Jessen. He wanted to get something extra on it and took his eye off the puck and whiffed on it. 16.44 to go here in the second period. 16.4 the shots. That'll give you an idea of the, who's had the advantage in play. Not a shock given the relative position of these two teams. The Colts leading the division with only three losses and only having given up 49 goals all year. You'd expect them to have a lockdown defense and good goaltending. that Croft had released the puck, but he did not. So there'll be a face-off. Well, leave standing Pat, not sending out different troops. Colleton moving in here from the near side into the face-off dot. Doesn't come his way. He'd have been off to the races. There's a giveaway there, but Good job there by DeLooney to kick it forward. DeLooney's a heady hockey player. He knows what to do out there. Now look at him covering back. He knows he knows he's got to get there. He does. Good job by Croft. Oh, Croft looks like he took a kick in the head there or something. Helmet is off. He's down. I don't know if it's his head or he strained something. Trainer not coming out for Valley. Well, says he's all right, putting this gear back on. Gets a tap there from Pellerine. Pellerine having a word with Captain McLean. Maybe trying to agree on a breakout play here. Croft back in position. Not sure what happened there, but his helmet and face mask came off, so I think there was some contact there maybe with the other player's foot or leg or something. Good to see he's okay. We don't want anybody getting hurt. Rosen, he's got no chance to rest. Pressure's on. Oh, the net's off here. There will be a whistle here. off to Croft's blocker side, the right side. Won by Col Colts, almost said Cole Herbert. Colts, but picked off there by Pellerine. He gets it around, and it does come up to McLean. Eventually, there was an intermediary there in between. It was Lawrence. Pellerine makes a little move trying to get out. That didn't work. Well, you have to be careful there. We're hitting anybody from behind. That's... There's a rocket up over the net. Kept in by Goodwin. Another shot on, another shot, another shot. No rebound control. There's three cracks, three for a quarter, as they used to say at the exhibition. Didn't get much for a quarter now. Goes in deep. Well, she's back for it, bothered by Bailey. McLean comes in to try and help. Cole Harbour come away with it. That's Puma, Cooper Puma. In behind the net, he's given a little bump. That doesn't bother him. Here's Bailey, has it. What's he going to do with it? Passes it up, a nice pass there. Big Dow, Dow. Dow's unselfish to a fault. 
Look, this, look at that. He's rewarded there, though. He's stayed around the net, passed it to Graves, and there was a, a rebound that came right to Dow. He's he's happy. So that was a good effort. He works hard every night. We're so so glad to have a character player like him in our group. That was Val. He's only their fifth shot, so they scored on 20% of their shots, which is pretty good. Just need to up that number five number a little bit. So 3-1. 3-1. Long way to go. 14.25 here in the second remaining. It's dumped in. MacArthur stops it. Shoots it out with authority. I don't know if any of you watched that pathetic skills there in the All-Star game where they had the 10-D tandem or whatever where the goalies were trying to score, but MacArthur looks like he'd been a good candidate for that. Oh, that was a near chance there. Schofield had a gutty stick on that. That looks like a penalty. Yes, it is so. Referee that looked at it didn't call it, but this one on the far side put his hand up. Schofield was ridden down. So, on the heels of scoring, the Valley goes on the PP. Faceoff will be in here to MacArthur's right. That's his blocker side. Both goalies here, traditional catching with the left hand. Makes a big difference when you see one that doesn't do that. That's so common. Valley working around now. They're going to try and get control of it. Get some traffic in front of the net there. MacArthur, he's a big man. He takes up a lot of net. There's a chance for Kerlock. He chooses not to shoot it. Graves doesn't mind. There it is! That looks like Dowell again. That's two for Dowell. He's on the doorstep. Good play by the Leafs. A hard backhander by Graves. Rebound sitting there, and they're right back in it, folks. 13.35 to go. They've had six shots. They've got two goals. 3-2. So once again, no, it doesn't matter what level. You can't play shorthanded. And that penalty there when they took down Schofield, that put the Colts at a disadvantage, so the Leafs are much closer now than they were at the start of the period. But once again, the Colts have a lot of power, good defense, so it's gonna be a battle the whole night here for Valley to get, stay close with them. Oikel, Oikel speeds in, a past Goodwin. Centering pass, but it was off Pellerine, he can't hold it in, he's pressured. He pivots into traffic, a nice dozy doe move there by Pellerine. <laughs> and eventually comes away with it. That's Warwick, assistant captain for the Colts. If you're listening in tonight from wherever you are, I hope you're enjoying the telecast. These things are not as easy as it may sound to put on. We have a great videographer here, Jody Brown, who's very professional. Heavy user and occasion of duct tape, but she gets the job done. Working her behind the net. That's I call. But Come away with it to the Colts. That's number 13, Warwick, assistant captain for the Colts. He's into the corner, tries to backhand it in. Played nicely there, but they still have the control of a good one. Rifles it around. It's going to go all the way down. That'll give Valley a chance to change everybody but one. Nice play. Good stick there by Lawrence. Got his stick on it, held it out. So. Colts have to regroup. McCray dumps it into the far side. Croft comes behind the net, tries to stop it, but does not. If you're going to come out there, you pretty well got to stop it. Kick, kick back in front. Culleton goes down. He's on his knees. He's back up. He's got the puck. Looking for some way to get rid of it. It does just make it out over the blue line. Ooh. Oh, redirect, nice redirect. Oh my, I don't know about that one, folks. I like to see the home team win as much as anybody, but that looked pretty soft to me. <laughs> the referee said no way, says that Captain Braden Hoover Richard knocked down Croft, and 
That looked pretty innocent. If you're watching our telecast tonight, I'm sure if you're a Colts fan, you question that call. But things tend to even out. The coach for the Colts doesn't seem too upset about it. So maybe it was worse, maybe my angle was bad. Right back on the power play, they were successful last time, but this time Nichols coughs it up right off the hop. He's gonna have to regroup and pressure there by Cooper Puma. Working hard on the forecheck. And the other Puma, Tyler, in there to help him. I guess they're brothers, the Puma brothers. Cousins, well, probably brothers. I saw the team photos, they look very much alike. Maybe they're even twins. All right, Valley's got a chance to at least get in their offensive zone. Levy brings it in. Dowell has got two tonight, two in the period. Tried to get in, make an inside out Wimble. There's a chance, way up. Oh, he's just offside. He just moved in. He, they couldn't see him in time. He was all alone up there, Dowell, and he was beating us looking for the puck, but they couldn't get it to him. And now the play comes all the way back to the valley end. I guess that's because the offside originated from there. I'm not sure how that rule works. Nice draw there by McLean. Curry Luck has it behind the net, tries to set up for a breakout. Everybody in the building knew where the puck was gonna go. Nice little touch pass there by Pellerine. Now the Leafs are having trouble controlling it here. They're halfway through the penalty and they haven't really been able to set up shop here in the Colts end. Colts pressuring early and often in the Valley end. Brown takes a little bump there from Pellerine. Pellerine is a pretty solid guy. Somebody you probably don't want to be behind in the buffet line, I would say. Well, he keeps it in with a sweeping motion. Oh, 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 oh. Referee has his hand up. Let's, I'm not sure who's getting the penalty, but my guess is Curry Luck. So that'll negate the penalty with only 25 seconds left to go. So flip the script. The Colts will be on the power play here in 25 seconds. Very luck explaining to the coaches what went wrong. <laughs> uh, yes, it's always probably not recommended when you're on the power play to take a penalty. But yes. Now there's a few questions here from the Leaf bench. Faceoff will be in the leaf zone, the trapper side, the left hand side of Croft. And for, for now, it'll be four on four, but in 25 seconds, the Colts player will be out of the box, and it'll be their man advantage. Uh, bad luck there. The reason I say bad luck is. They weren't on the power play, so they'll still have that opportunity. That one went right through the wickets on Croft. He was kind of scrambling to get in position, and it wasn't good. Shot was not hard, but just went right through his legs. So, the margin has increased back to two again. That's one probably the Leafs would like to have back. And as I say, in 14 seconds, they're going to be shorthanded. So Pellerine, he's confident with the puck. Just pivots and left his man behind there. He's coming in again, takes the shot. And good play there by the Colts to just get enough stick on to bother the shot. Now power play comes out to Goodwin. Goodwin looking, yeah, had that labeled for the far side, just missed. Great effort there to keep it in, not quite by Welsh. Banks, a speedy Banks out there to kill the penalty. Along with Oikel. Oikel couldn't reach it. Oh, there's a nice clearing play. And 
Michael says, I'll take a break. Tolson comes out to take his place. Gain the blue line. Cooper Puma driving for the net. And behind, he has it. He's rubbed out there by Levy. But it comes back to Goodwin at the point. He's got a good shot. He's looking to load up. He does not. Gets it to Vino. Vino going to stick handle right in. That one looked like it had a chance to go in. Snow Angels by Croft. Keeps it out for a second. But here's another shot. Down. Croft down. <laughs> More Snow Angels. Yeah, there we go. Croft never was able to regain his footing there. He was flopping around and couldn't get in position to face the shot. So, unfortunate there. There was only 19 seconds left in the penalty. But Colts have restored their margin from earlier in the period. So, again, penalties. Regardless who takes them, don't help your cause. So now it's 5-2, 8-12 left to go. Back at full strength. Well, he's get on, they do clear it out softly. Long stretch pass doesn't work, but no, he's a load when he gets the puck. <laughs> Oh, they were trying to hit Dowell. Dowell's going for the hat trick. If I know Dowell, if he has a chance to put it in, he'll look to pass to somebody. He's un unselfish to a fault. Gar Graves battling along the near boards. Lawrence fishes it, no, Nichols, pardon me. Nichols fishes it out, shoots it in deep. Behind the net is Stone for the Colts. He brings it out, Stone's got some speed. Nice pass, good angle off the boards. Back in the middle to McCray. McCray has it again in the corner. Back to the point. Back in. That's Stone in the near point. There's a big rebound by Croft. They just need to settle down a bit here. Here's a chance. That's Schofield. Schofield gets in tight. He's got some good moves. An engineering student at Acadia, it's, it's tough for him. You know, it's big scholastic load. They're asking a lot to play junior B hockey and get an engineering degree at the same time. This is a good chance here for the Colts. Well, he's starting to sag back a little bit instead of challenging. Kicked in there nicely by the defense. Well, he tries to get behind everybody. That's Culleton, number eight. Little bump there by Culleton. Curry Lux stands up. He does stand up. There's Culleton again. Lost the handle, though. Lawrence. Dog there by Brown. Oh, too high for Culleton to glove it down. D to D and out for the Colts. Nice pass there, hits him in stride. Beautiful move there by Garrison. Nice toe drag to get in for the open. It hit a stick, but it did go up into the glove of Croft. He managed to hold on to that one. 522 left here. Valley makes a change. Bailey, McCarthy, and McLean come out. McLean to take the draw. He doesn't win it. He's in behind. Lawrence is going to have to battle two Colts to get the puck. He momentarily gets it, but it does come back to Goodwin. Goodwin over to, I think that's Welch. Oh, there's deflected again. They're masters at that, shooting and then redirecting. There goes McLean. Nice pass. One too many stick handles there for Daly. He was right in there on him, but that last move to his backhand was picked off. 
Look at this, good pressure here. This is Liam Andrews right in. Pressuring. Winding up. Curry Luck, the head of steam. It's like a freight train there, Curry Luck. He's a big man. Look at that nice slick little move there. That's number 10, Garrison. He mentioned his name several times tonight. He's slick with the puck. He's got it again. Nice shot off the stick handle, but Croft has it in the trapper. 4.23 left to go. It's a 5-2 lead. Shots on goal are 32 to 6. So considering the Valley's only had six shots to have two goals is pretty good, but obviously you need more than six shots. And Croft has played well a couple times there. He was kind of out of position, which hurt him, but by and large, he's done a good job, especially good with the glove. Colts looking to send it back to the point. They do. Oikel. Tolson's coming down late. Oikel got good mustard on that one, but it was a field goal attempt instead of a hockey goal. Whoa, there's a little bump. Little bump there by Oikel. Nobody, puck wasn't anywhere near Stone, but no penalty. Dumped in, pressure. Tyler Puma right in, you don't want him to get it. Good pressure now by the Colts. Sending it around pretty confident. There's, a, oh, nice play there by Cooper Puma. Turned and fired. Croft was down and managed to get the pad on it. 3.24 left. Dowell can't win the draw, but a nice pass there. Graves. They'd love to get it to Dowell here for the third one. Dowell passed it out, bounced over everybody. Picked off there by Vino. Vino dumped it up to Hooper Richard. Hooper Richard has it again, crosses the blue line. Gives it up. Oh, nice shot there. Hit that was by McCray, hit the blocker. Croft, Croft, back up in position this time. And out. Dowell, soft pressure on King. Number four, Ben King. So good one, passes up, nice pass, picked up cleanly there by Cooper Richard. He feeds, oh, number six coming in there. Good one, walked right into that one with authority. Turned aside by Croft. Will McCray back in his own end. Gives it to Goodwin. Goodwin shoots it up. Intercepted there by Nichols. DeLooney has it along the boards, working hard. Dumped in there by Cooper Richard. Long shift for him and he's going off. Lawrence rims it around out to Culleton. That was a, tried to kick it to his compadre there. That didn't work. Lawrence, little double move behind the net, shakes the defender. That's good work though by the Colts to keep that in, look at that. Great effort there by Henman. And there's Warwick in the corner. DeLuni comes away with it up. Bailey can't get it out. Now they have it out. No room to skate though. Right back in is Henman over the line. No offside, Henman. Looking to do something with it. Oh, nice move there. Valley <laughs> player lost his footing. Welsh back to the point. Here's Henman again. Shooting it wide, maybe going for one of those plays off the backboards, but don't know. Shot out and down by the Leafs. Looks like that's going to be an icing call with 103. 103 left to go here in the second. Shots on goal, 35 to seven. Colts leading where it matters, five to two here. Coming up towards the end of the second period. As I mentioned, Colts are back home tomorrow to entertain the Brookfield Elks. And after a day off, the Leafs will be back here at home where we take on the Privateers. Sunday, a special time of 1230. 
Super Bowl day, of course, for those of you who like football. But the game will be a, much, a lot of preamble before they actually get to play any of the games. I don't even know when it starts. It's probably 7 or 7.30. Oh, that shot floated right in. Trainer McCullough, number 14 for the Colts. He was right there looking for a tip in. He's taking the draw here. Looks like Garson, the dangerous Cody Garson. Is rimmed around and out. That's going to be icing. Thirty seconds left in the period. That gives <coughs> Cole Colts, Colts, not Cole Herbert, Colts a chance to change. Whereas the Leafs, of course, cannot after the icing. Puma in there, their big gun, number 11, to take the draw. He doesn't really win it, but Welsh has it anyway at the point. It's feathered into the corner. Still all kinds of time here in the period, 20 seconds. That's Cooper Puma in the fighting for it. He gets it. Lots of time here for Valley, 14 seconds. If they can get up over the blue line, they cannot. Now icing on the Colts. So that line's been out quite a while for the Leafs. I'll be shocked if they don't change. Only seven seconds left. Sends out Graves, Schofield. And of course, Dowell to take the draw. They try and keep it in, they do. Oh gosh, that was a great play by the Leafs there with seven seconds left. It looked like it hit the outside of the net, but it was well played off the draw and almost great effort. After two, 5-2 Colts, shots on goal, 36-9.
All right, we're back here for the start of the third period with the Leafs trailing five to two. We'll have to make up ground early and often here to get back in this one. Just a note to any of you that are used to watching, I guess it'd be primarily the Leafs, and you're not from this area, we won't be live streaming the game on Sunday. Our videographer has another commitment and can't be here. Just learned that myself minutes ago. Well, Valley do get a good shot here early, but MacArthur out to make the save. Around the league, the Blues at the Bulldogs. That one, the Blues have drawn closer. It's still, Bulldogs still in the lead. 4-3 for the Bulldogs over the Blues. And the Penguins lead the Elks 4-2. Back to live action here now in Windsor. Nice pick up there with a good head of steam is Hooper Richard. It's number 17. Bodied into the corner. McCray behind the net. Soft backhander there. Going to try and come out around. Croft does get back in position. McCray's going to wrist it. That hits the ankle of Pellerine. He shrugs that off. I don't know. You can't give... The captain, no less, Braden Richard, three cracks from the crease. If you're Valley, you've got to be on that guy after at least the first crack. And Shorecroft is saying, come on, boys, help me out here. So the draw to Croft's left. Cole Harbour wins it back. They dump it in the corners behind the net. Picked up, though, by, whoop, oh, tripped, no call. Tripped again. He's having a hard job staying upright there. That's Schofield. That tires you out. Schofield up on the four check, trying to token pressure. Good play there by Curry Lock to get his foot on it. Good, good coming in. Rister once again the trapper. Very good for Croft. He's good with the glove and snagged her. So there'll be a face-off here to the near side. Colts make a change, Leafs stand pat. Dowell, Dowell take the draw, he's on his forehand side. He's talking here to Levy. Obviously gonna try and beat it over to him. He hits the leg of the other centerman. So bounces out all the way down the ice. There's a high pass. Dowell couldn't keep control of it. Schofield behind the net, Curry Lock. Oh, hit Schofield with it. Has to regroup. Bad angle off the boards, Levy. Levy negotiates out of trouble. There's Graves, a nice hard pass to Dowell on the fly. Dowell on his off wing though. Has to drive to the net, looking for somebody to give it to. Still on his backhand, nice pass out. Levy, nice shot to get in position. Hits the shin guard though. Of I think that's Vino. So back out, Levy has it. He's gonna. Yeah, well, nice little fake there. Levy still has it, but pressured. Very luck. Well, again, bad angle. Bounce straight back out to the Cole Harbor player, or Colts player, pardon me, no Cole Harbor. Kept in, Stone, Stone in the corner. That's uh, stepped on his stick, I think. Normally a penalty, but the referee doesn't call it. Offside, Banks, so the Leafs have to clear. Back in again is Banks, trying to put some pressure on. That's Cheney, Braden Cheney, their number two. There. Oh, a nice chance there. A little pressure paid off. MacArthur equal to the task. Looks, I don't know, he heard he's lost his skate blade, has he? Yes. Great job there. Harrison gets all the way to the bench with the ease on one foot. Some teams, if they're very well equipped, travel with a bunch of skate blades. That's hard to do with so many different sizes and types of skate. 
So that may be it for him or it may not be that serious. Oh, there's a bad break there. Lawrence couldn't control it. Has to turn around and just fire it in. I think it hit the hand or something of one of the Colts players. So there's a whistle. Yeah, it looks like they might have the fix for Garrison over there. Colts are well equipped. Danny wins it ahead. Walsh has it. Welsh, pardon me, not Walsh. Welsh has it, dumps it in. No icing. Lawrence bothered there by Cooper Richard, number 17. He's, he's a digger. Vino has it now. What's he going to do with it? Welsh, number eight. Feathers it through, looking for a tip. Almost had it. Kept in there by Goodwin. Scrum behind the valley net. That's McCray in there, big McCray. Cooper Richard passed it back to the point. High, hard one, wide. Welsh again. Dumps it back in to McCray again. Well, they, they try and feather it out. Welsh tries to stand his ground. He's partially successful. Doesn't keep it in, but he had control of it. Valley dump it in. It's on MacArthur, so he has to stop it. And the Valley are able to get a change. Culleton in for the soft forecheck. There's a long pass offside. That should be. Yes, it is so. He had it hit his skate, and by the time he regained control of it, he'd gone in ahead of the puck. 15-19. Remaining here, 44-13 are the shots. Leafs trail by 3-5-2. Stone. Handles it neatly, tipped ahead neatly there by Good. One might say a good tip. There's a swing around play. There's the puck, everybody trying to get it. It's back out. Stone shoots it in. Another shot, tip again. Another great save there, really. That was tipped on goal, and Croft was able to stay with it. That was a that was a first-class save right there. Well, once again, if you missed my note earlier, we aren't going to be able to live stream the game on Sunday. So. Sorry about that, but we've only got one video person and she's tied up. She has a, another commitment. We don't normally play on Sunday, so of course she wasn't planning on, on that. There's nothing we can do about it. McCarthy tries a nice soft pass to Bailey. Doesn't work. McCarthy keeps it in though, controls it behind the net. And they bring it out, that's good. Good over to Puma. Tyler Puma, that's the big gun, leading scorer. Dangerous play, bringing it out. Oh, McLean, he's looking for it. Took a bump in the back. He's going to go off. Don't know if he jolted him or he was just ready to go off anyway. That'll be icing. Graves tried to hit. <laughs> tried to hit Dow with it. They're talking about it. Just didn't quite connect there. Between the legs. That was Henman trying to give it to somebody, but didn't quite work. Driving in there is Graves. Puck doesn't come his way, so he's got to come back. Nice stick check there. Uh, Henman picked it right off. They'll be looking to get it up here to Brown. Brown looking for the puck. Henman has it, number 16 for the Colts. He leaves it behind. A little hook there on Nichols, just enough so he couldn't get to the puck. Not seen. And just out of the reach. Schofield felt that one. Back in the play, though, that seems to have fired him up. Oh, man, a top notch. 
Croft made a couple fantastic saves here in this third period. There's Graves, he never gives up. He's a digger, youngest player I'm sure on the team. He was playing under 18 earlier this year and left them to come play for the Leafs. Into the corner goes Andrews. Andrews still has it behind the net. Bothered there by Curry Luck. Curry Luck is a force out there. Oh, goes down. Carson, who's got his skate fixed, obviously he's back in action. Here's Welsh. Stone, pardon me, number three is Stone. On the point. Valley come away with it. Well, that one went up off something. That's Banks. Banks got a lot of go, a lot of speed. Number 10, Garrison goes down again. Is he having more foot problems? Or no, nope, that's a just a tumble. 12-16 remaining, folks. 12-16 in the third period. 50 to 13 are the shots. Five have got by Croft and only two pass MacArthur. 5-2 is the score for the Colts. Liverpool here at 12.30 on Sunday. To see that game, you'll have to be here. Because we don't, we're not able to bring it to you. Winding up behind his own net is Cheney. Gives it up, back over here to King. King up to Vino. Vino was over the line. Nice centering pass. McCray, big McCray had it in his feet. Couldn't, oh, there's a nice breakout. Tolson, Tolson decides to make a change. He couldn't keep up with it. And they bring it back out. King, King gains the blue line, dumps it in. That's behind the net. Pellerine's there. Keeps, oh, he's going to get an interference call there. Pellerine is. Leading with the referee. Pellerine's a solid biscuit. That number four is not tiny. He went down like a sack of potatoes. Of course, to be fair, he probably didn't expect to be hit there. He didn't have the puck. Pellerine's rewarded for that with two minutes or less in the box. Well, he's shorthanded. McCarthy out to take the face off. He's out there with McLean to try and kill off the first part of the penalty. On defense is Levy and Curry Lock. Got the Pumas out there. Got 10, 11, and 12 out there. Garrison, Puma, Puma. Good one on defense. Along with Welsh. That's the Colts power play. There's Garrison in the Puma. One Puma, two Puma. You can see they played together more than a minute. Beautiful play there. Just didn't quite get by Croft. Leafs will try and get control here and get it down the ice. McCarthy can't win the draw, but kicks it and does a good job and gets it. McLean, Brady McLean steaming in, gets it to McCarthy. McCarthy one on three, tough to do anything there, but he can tie them up for a bit, which he does a good job of. Good job there of Tyler Puma, he's a player, folks. That doesn't quite work out. Here we are, Welsh dumps it in. Garrison, Deborah Dangerous. Back comes Goodwin, fakes the slapper. Garrison, he's got lots of room to shoot there. Goes high, short side, and just misses the target. Nice backhand there, not easy to do under pressure by Levy. It's down the ice. Levy looking to get off. Colts taking their time behind the net. They don't need any more goals at the moment. They're up by three, but they are on the power play. 40 seconds left. Over the line, Andrews pivots, leaves it there for Vino. 
Fino looking back to the point for Welsh. Good job. Can't quite keep it in, but a good job to slow it down. Anders. Ahead to Vino. Vino has it stolen. Good pressure there by the Leafs to keep it in. Colts have to regroup behind their own net. MacArthur shoots it up along the boards. Ooh. That was Oiko. Oiko meant business there. He was beating in on <laughs> beating in on him, but changed direction. Oiko lost his footing. Good job by the Leafs, So on this PK. There's only three seconds left. They just have to try and control the draw here, and they'll be back to full strength. But they've used up two minutes of time when they could have been on offense trying to catch up. So that is still damaging to take that penalty. Lawrence looking to get it out. He's dogged there by Henman. Behind the net now, Lawrence passes it up. Nowhere to go with it. Still in play. Lawrence does manage to get it out. He'll dump it in. Henman, he's got Warwick over there was calling for the puck, but if he gets it now, he's in a good place. He's right in front there, folks. Warwick dumps it in. Brown. Brown has it. Nice pass out there. Henman was in tight. Couldn't, didn't have anywhere really to put it. Here comes Dow. Dow would like to get one more here for the hat trick. But Graves. Graves. Oh, tried to hit Schofield. Just zigged when he should have zagged. And missed him. Schofield has it again. Winding up. Oh, that's no, no icing, no icing, but they're going to change. Here he comes out. Who's this? Cheney. Cheney dumped it in. Good job by Levy. Stood up there. Oh, just too far ahead there. <laughs> too far ahead for Culleton. He would have liked to have had that one. He was going right in on the goaltender. Nice tip play there by Welsh to his partner, and it goes into the valley zone. Dumped in there it was by Stone. Couldn't control it there. That was Spink. Oh, Levy goes down. All oh, like 10 pins here. Culleton trying to get up, get up wind. Oh, there's a penalty being called here. It must be on the Colts. There, it's finally touched. Oh, that could be, that could even it up. It was a late hit there by the Valley player, so I'm sure there won't be a power play now. They give him an awful shot there after the, I guess the whistle hadn't quite gone, but I'm sure he'll get a penalty. Can't quite remember who that was, but. Very luck. Cooper Puma's in the box, number 12, 44, Curry Lock for the Leafs. Referee's having a word with a couple other people. Looks like there's going to be companionship in the box. Yes, Culleton goes in there, number eight for Valley, and I missed who the <laughs> I missed who the other player was for Cole Harbor, who's dancing around over there. Only 7:19 left to go. Shots are 53 to 14. Give you an idea, the ice has been tilted certainly in the Colts' favor. They lead five to two. Referee explaining to the Coal Harbor bench what's going on. Four on four, looks like. No, nope. five, pardon me, five on five. I was wondering why it'd be four on four. McCarthy wins it cleanly back, that's nice. 
Bailey dumps it in high. Cheney gloved it down, but the pressure's on. Bailey has it in the corner. He's bumped there hard, though, by the Colt player. There's another lob. Just misses the rafter, so no whistle. Pellerine. Good job on defense tonight by Pellerine. Took the penalty there late, but he's a solid player. Currently takes a good bump, but he's a good stocky fellow. That doesn't bother him. And he goes right back and gives a bump. That's the way to do it. That was Garrison. Garrison pulled it back and got a good shot on Croft. There's another deflection. Croft played that one well again. He's had a good strong third period, Croft has. Cheney gets by him. Look at Bailey go. Bailey's got good wheels. He's in there ahead of everyone. Blows a tire for a second, but he's back on his feet. Well, it was sent back to the point, but split the D. Croft's in here, take a shot. Doesn't have his stick. Whoa, in and out, in and out. There, that was Banks. It's a boy call. Feeds it over to Tolson, too far for him. Passed up nicely to Hooper Richard. Let's see a little banging and crashing here going on towards the end of the game. You don't don't want to earn any sus suspendable offenses, though. Another game for each of these player teams coming right up. The Colts tomorrow night and Leafs or tomorrow afternoon, maybe. And the Leafs uh, Sunday afternoon. Oh, King, good solid hit there by Oikol. All in all, pretty good effort by Valley tonight. They didn't, not going to win it, but. Val took a hip check there and went down, but it looks like he's all right. And I think he plays lacrosse, so probably that didn't bother him a whole lot. <laughs> Uh, lacrosse, in my opinion, is a very violent game. Cross checking is encouraged, whacking with the stick. And you're not on skates, you're rooted to the ground. So I think you've got to be a pretty tough nut to play that. Bell works hard, wins the draw. He's got control of the puck. That's not easy to do, folks. Take the face off and end up with it yourself. Nice play there. One hander got towards the net. Oh, well, he'd love to get one here. Just as with the Colts. Oh, Lawrence has run over. Graves feathers it back to the, I think that's Pellerine there, is it? Or, no, Levy, pardon me, Levy. Two, not 22. Brown coming in on Levy. Levy's a bit out of position there. Oh, they're calling that interference. I don't. Gosh. 420 left to go and an interference call on the Leafs. I guess he impeded his path to the puck. That's the rule. So Lawrence gets the gate. Croft gets some encouragement there from Curry Luck saying we gotta kill off one more there, Jaden. Look at this. No, sir. That was Oikel. Had a chance from the red line in, or center line in, but couldn't beat MacArthur. Hasn't had a lot of work tonight, but he's done a good job. He's only had 15 or 16 shots. So. Another penalty. I can't imagine there'll be a fight. All these players are well aware of the rule. If you fight the last 10 minutes, you're on vacation for the next game. They don't want that. That's Big King. He's a big man. So is Curry Luck. I'm sure they'll both go to the dressing room. That'll be the end of that.
not sure what Banks is doing there. The best thing he can do is get back to the bench. And get an unsportsmanlike or some foolishness. Oh, Croft has the puck. He's waiting for somebody to take it for a face-off. <laughs> little bit of everything here at the end of this one. Only 3.51 left. Leaf shorthanded for another minute and a half. Well, that was quite a check. Knocked down about three people. Some of your own. Oh. Cooper Puma lined up for the one-timer and that didn't work. Oh. Pellerine. Pellerine didn't like that. I would say the Leafs now going to be down too. This just turned into a fiasco here at the end. Players frustrated, obviously. If I'm the referee, I send them right off, but maybe he can't do that with a minor penalty, but it's clear Pellerin's gonna get the gate. The Leafs should be down two men. Pellerin having a chat with the, oh, oh. That's not encouraged. He's gonna go down and have a word with him. He'd have been suspended for sure if he'd done that. Minute 10 left to go on the first penalty, and there'll be two minutes more for Pellerine. And 3.33 left in the game time. So. Leafs still have four men out there, so obviously I don't have a clue what's going on. Oh, really? Colts taking a timeout? Come on, boys. A little better than that, I would think. So as the Colts take their time out, trying to make it 6-2, apparently. 3.33 left to go here. It isn't. It's four on five on four. Five on four. I thought it was going to be four on three. Another big stop by Croft. Five on four, much better in, in my opinion than four on three. Good one. Good one. Tried to oh, go for the tip. Oh, a double tip. Oh, that's a heartbreaker for Croft. Was tipped once, then tipped the second time. Maybe, maybe that's what they were talking about in that very desperate timeout. Good for them. Now 6-2. Rogi Vashon couldn't have stopped that one. It was tipped there. He's pointing out it was tipped there. They didn't said it was tipped the other way. It was a zigzag shot. So. Two thirty-five. Two thirty-five left to go. 
And I hope, hope for an eventful end to this one. Leafs give a reasonable account of themselves given the disparity in the standings, 6-2 at this point. I don't think uh, the Colts have any more timeouts, but otherwise they'd probably take one. Levy directs it in. Schofield whiffs one through the crease. And Levy has it, turns back inside, loses his footing. Oh, another penalty. Warwick goes to the box. Referee needs to trade in his whistle here. The slashing call. With 2.16 left. The Leafs on the power play now. Probably should take a timeout. Pull the goalie. Blindfold the other goalie. <laughs> I'll just have a little fun here, folks. Dow keeps it in on the near boards, leaps on the power play, feeds it across, tried for the tip in, no go. Graves, no quitting Graves, no matter if it's 10 2, he's going to try. Schofield, Schofield, oh! Linesman said you just, oh, he, was, he almost had him. He almost had him for his third one. And you know, Schofield's a cerebral player. You know he was trying to get that for him. That would have been nice to see it go in for Dowell. The captain comes away for the Colts. Oh, another penalty. Good grief. Elbow. No hooking, I guess. That's Graves. Well, it's been a slow boat to China here. It's like an NBA game in the last three minutes. It takes half an hour. It's four on four now. Back to the point. Welsh. Over to the fireboards, saucer pass across to Goodwin, back to Welsh, back to Goodwin, all the way across. Everybody in the building knew that was coming. Ooh, there's a hard one there by Pellerine. Into the belly of MacArthur, who's played well tonight. Let's give him his due. He's had 15 or 16 shots, but only two of them have got by him. It's hard when you're a goalie if you're not getting a lot of action to stay sharp. Croft, on the other hand, said 56 shots, and six have got by him. So he's, he's tried his best tonight. There's a lot of firepower there on the Colts. And we're down to the last minute in this one, folks. Oh. Deluni didn't see it. That's Benny McCarthy. Lost it at the blue line. Here comes Vino. 15, Vino. All by himself. Colts not pressing now. 25 seconds left. Oh, Deluni went down. Welsh going to take a shot. But that one was deflected as well. Actually, think about the goals that they had. They had the... You know, Two or three of them were deflected, which are very difficult to stop, but shows good positioning and good, good planning by the Colts. That's all she wrote for tonight, folks. Valley back in action tomorrow, or not tomorrow, Sunday at 12.30 here against the Privateers.